What are the most common finance interview questions? Let's see some of them. You will come across this basic question. What do you mean by financial accounting? Financial accounting is basically a branch of accounting which will keep track of entity's financial records. It follows a process where financial transactions will be recorded, summarized and reported as financial statements comprising balance sheet, income statement and cash flow statement. And this branch of accounting follows common rules and principles which we call them as accounting standards or generally accepted accounting practices and it is built on that. Then you will also come across this question, what is capital structure of a firm? When we say capital structure, it is basically a mix of long term sources like uh, debentures, long term debt, preference share capital, equity share capital, reserves and surplus. So this is basically an allocation of debt and equity which will be used for funding the operations and expansions of that entity. If an entity is going to have high debt in its capital structure, then it will have high leverage ratio. It means they have aggressive capital structure and that will attract high financial risk. I say high financial risk because when there is a high level of debt, then there is a fixed commitment to pay interest and principal. And if there is going to be any failure to repay that interest or principal, that could even lead to liquidation of the firm. On the other side, if an entity is having more equity, it means they'll have low leverage ratio. It means they are following a conservative capital structure. And as a result, their financial risk will also be very less. The next common question can be what are the golden rules of accounting? Basically, we have three golden rules of accounting which is linked with the accounts like personal account, real account and nominal account. For personal account, the rule is debit the receiver of benefit and credit the giver of benefit. For real account, the rule is debit what comes in and credit what goes out. And for nominal account, the rule is debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains. So this nominal account is restricted to your income statement, whereas the real account and personal account are related to balance sheet. Next, you will also see this question. What are the important financial statements of a company? These are all the three important financial statements that is balance sheet, income statement and cash flow statement. Balance sheet will communicate the financial position of the entity. It will give a snapshot of what are the assets they have outside liabilities equities as on a particular date when I say as on a particular date this is generally the financial year end we generally see like 31st March that's about balance sheet then comes income statement this statement will capture the incomes and expenses of the entity for a particular period so that the profit or loss can be measured for that particular accounting period, generally from April 1st to 31st March. Then we have cash flow statement. This statement will give us a picture of cash inflows and outflows that have happened in the entity by categorizing the cash flows. So there will be category wise classification of cash flows like cash flows from operating activity, investment activity and financing activity. Then you may also come across this question, which fund is cheaper? Is it debt or equity? If you take the case of debt, it has various plus or advantages like uh, this is considered as cheapest source in capital market because this comes with tax benefits and when you raise debt there is no dilution in ownership and it is actually easy to raise debt as well but it also has some limitations that is number one it has fixed obligation so whether the business is making profit or suffering loss no question obligation have to be met so that attracts high financial risk when you have more and more debt in the capital structure. Let us also look into equity so that we can come to a conclusion. Equity also has various advantages because in equity there is no fixed cost like interest because the dividend have to be paid only when there is a profit or only when the management takes a decision. And there is no compulsion to repay the equity unless and until the business is wound up or the equity is called back. So these are all the advantages of equity but on the minus side equity is very costly and there is no tax benefit for that entity because of equity. Okay. Now we have analyzed both debt and equity. Now let's come to a conclusion, which is cheaper. See, obviously the debt, obviously the debt is considered as cheaper because basically it comes at low cost and it also gives 
tax benefit. But on the other side, it also adds financial risk, which we have to keep it in mind. So in this session, I have taken you through five common finance interview questions. Do you know about our one to one discount program? It's for you to support your learning design. Let's say you have gone through the courses and you want to enroll in a course, but you have some financial constraint. Whom to ask for? Ask us and we'll help you. So you just have to fill a form where you have to give your name, number and the course you are interested in enrolling and we'll create an exclusive discount for you. That's why we call it as one to one discount and that will be much lesser than the price what you see in the website. So this will enable you to enroll in the course at much lesser price and kickstart your learning journey.